Shalom, you're welcome back to the special teaching with the man of God, Pastor Obed. We have a number of you who are sending in messages. God richly bless you. Amen. Um, William Amwabin says, hmm, our ladies of today, who likes smooching, petting, grinding, all in the name of modernity are in trouble. Another person sends in this message, cute K. She says, Shalom, Pastor Obed. I was sexually abused and active sexually at age five. The person says that I have... Okay, it's actually a guy. See, K says that I was sexually abused and active at age five. I've slept with over 100 girls, including cousins. I've slept with animals. I've slept with other men. And I have beings who come to sleep with me at night. I am unemployed and unmarried. Please, I need help. Pastor Bed, I came here for deliverance. How may I contact you, man of God? Another person sends in a sad one. The person says, Shalom, man of God. My name is Philemon. I'm a 20-year-old male from Jakobu in Amancia, Cent Amancia Central District. Pastor, I've been masturbating and watching pornography for about 12 years now. I really want to stop, but it seems my efforts are not really up to the task. I have been having orgasms while asleep due to some dreams I have been getting. I graduated from a particular university, I will not mention the name, in 2016. And up till now, I do not have any reliable work. I still live with my parents and depend on them. There are a lot of opportunities I have missed to some of my colleagues. Daddy, I have been fornicating since age 16 till now. As a result, I have done abominable things, such as sleeping with people from the same family, even my biological sisters. Man of God, I need God in my life. I really need to be delivered. Please help me. Huh. The Lord is faithful, and that's how come He's created this platform so that we can reach out to people, bring truth to them, and make them <laughs> seek help where help really can be given. I think that no. I haven't even yes, gone through. You're, you're, you're on, you I guess started with, with the first one, yes, and I've not gone through even the rest. and. I think that people are seriously identifying Precisely. with the exposition yes. that, that is coming. Yes. Um, when you look into the scriptures on witchcraft marriage, okay. the typical personality that comes up is Jezebel. Jezebel. Yes. Okay. The word of God says, in the days of Jehu and Joram, in one, 2 Kings 9.22, he says, and it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu, that he said is it peace jehu and he answered what peace so long as the whoredoms of your mother jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many <laughs> so this is joram the son of jezebel hmm. and her mother is a witch do you know that jezebel gave birth to a daughter called atalia and Atalia was worse off than Jezebel. Atalia was worse Atalia than Jezebel. was worse off than Jezebel. Atalia killed all the royal seed in two chronicles. I think chapter 20. Destroyed the entire royal seed. Why was it the case? It was because of their mother Jezebel. Jezebel was married to Ahab. He, she moved Ahab to do wickedly before God. And the second thing. Jezebel moved Ahab into cult spiritual marriage, which is the second one, where a person sells their soul willingly to do evil and work abominations before God. The second level, the second kind of spiritual marriage, yes, is cult spiritual, cult spiritual marriage, where a person, yes, is manipulated, okay, and moved by an authority figure who is a witch there are many people that have gone into cults and occultism not because that is what they want but rather it is a second generational transgression and manipulation that is pushing them into what they are into 
in order to strengthen the cord of wickedness that is being passed on through generations and through their lineage. So Jezebel is married to Ahab, but Ahab sells his soul to do evil. That is occultism, and that is cult. So the person goes into a league and binds his soul under that league. Hmm. Not because he is a witch or a wizard, but rather because a witchcraft entity is moving them and is using them for their own agenda. So Jezebel as a witch was now the one that was moving Ahab. And this spirit we find in the revelation of Jesus chapter 2. There are times, I wish I could go all out. Talk, man of God. There are times you could come under a cult worship. Where a witchcraft entity moves you to sell your soul, to do evil in the sight of God. It could be in a worship system. It could be in a church. There are people who got into spiritual marriages because of the church that they joined. How? How the man of God happen? is a witch. Hi. And he moves you by a spirit of manipulation through the laying on of hands to do abominable things in the sight of God. Very serious. So the person now goes into a cult system. For the sake of power and influence, people sell their souls in exchange of power. And the spirit being that gives you that power can marry you. Just like Ahab wanted the vineyard of Naboth, mm -hmm. Jezebel says, I'll give it to you at a price. Yes. If only you will sell your soul. He said, don't worry, I'll get this for you. But it was Jezebel that moved Ahab to sell his soul, to do wickedly for a price. What was the price? Jezebel got Ahab, the vineyard of Naboth. So you are looking for power. You want a certain influence. Then you go to this woman who calls herself a prophetess in Revelation chapter 2. Okay, so let's read 1 Kings 21 yes. and combine it in Revelation chapter 2 so that we understand what's happening here. Yes. And Ahab said to Elijah, Has thou found me, O my enemy? And he answered, I have found thee, because thou hast sold thyself to work evil in the sight of the Lord. Then the Bible says, It was this Ahab, whose wife Jezebel moved to do evil in the sight of God in the book of Kings. So Ahab was not just doing things just because he wanted to do it. Ahab was being manipulated. Yes. A spirit of manipulation. Yes. He had come under the moving force of Jezebel. Then in Revelation chapter 2, the verse 20, he said, notwithstanding I have a few things against thee because thou allowest or sufferest that woman Jezebel which calleth herself a prophetess. So you see, you can get spiritual marriage by going to a certain church. <laughs> by visiting a certain shrine. By belonging to a certain group. That is not Christ ordained. Because the enemy has a system that he is using to provoke God to jealousy. That is the reason why I'm very suspicious of men of God who will always say, there is nothing like spiritual marriage. I suspect them. Hmm. I suspect them because I will say without blinking an eye that they are agents that have been planted behind pulpits so that this evil phenomenon can carry on unnoticed they sway your mind these are doctrines of devils to carry you away from attending to what you are supposed to set up and attend to 
I suspect every man of God. Hmm. You may want to call him a man of God. I suspect everyone behind the pulpit. I wish I didn't even call them a man of God. I suspect everyone behind the pulpit who is denying that there is anything called spiritual marriage. I suspect them. Because I am seeing such people have come under the influence of the spirit of Jezebel within the church like in Revelation chapter 2. Man of God, in 1 Kings chapter 21 verse 25, uh -huh, what the word of say? God says, yes. but there was none like Ahab. There was none like Ahab which did sell, which himself, did sell himself to work wickedness, to work wickedness in, the sight of the in the sight of the Lord whom his wife, who was behind it. His wife Jezebel was the one who did what? Stared him up. Stared him up. Moved it's him. a contract. He was the one moving him. I will get you. I want, I want, I want the vineyard of neighbors. So okay, I'll get it for you. She, she, he had come under the influence of his wife. Yes. To sell himself. So now Ahab went into a cult system. Mm. A cult system is that system where you sell your soul in exchange of an influence or power. That is cult. It's a secret system. So, man of God, if, if of you a have trading floor, people who have joined secret societies, trading floor called society trading floor that is how come all those in the secret society will justify what they have gained in those secret societies it is actually a trading floor so the person may gain power when you hear those people mark them out you can actually tell what led them into it they will usually begin from how that they were hard pressed probably they wanted political influence probably they want it is all about i want a vineyard so jesus was okay I'll, I'll, I'll help you get it but i'll get it for you mm. if you come under my stirrings yes. my movings and my manipulations called it is so vast if we begin to think about how it works it is beyond imagination somebody is in the court because it is the mother or the father that moved him into the court because the mother or the father or an uncle or somebody that was moving them was a witch and the person went into a trading system and based on that legality in the spirit the person is now suffering for whatever manipulation they are under mm. in revelation chapter 2 this can affect you as a man of god there are many men of god who are married to pastors wives that are jezebels come again man of god many men of god mm -hmm. who are married to women that are Jezebels. How? Because when a personality uh -huh. other than the one who is supposed to lead uh -huh. now from behind uh -huh. manipulates the leadership of the church, you are dealing with a Jezebel spirit. Because the whore, she is the one, the mother of all hallows. She is the one that rides the beast. Mm. Remember that from all that we have done eschatologically, yes. the beast is the king. Yes but this woman rides the beast that means that from behind the scenes from behind the scenes she influences she is the one influencing every, every decision, decision of the man of god every decision of the church leadership hmm. men of god are afraid of their wives more than god there are teachings and doctrines hmm. that they have taught in the past per the agreement of their wives and how their wives will feel about it and they have realized that this is not from God, but they are afraid. I don't want to mention any church. Because of the woman they are married to. Because of the woman they are married to. And until the woman dies, there will be no change. The woman dies, and the man of God now has the boldness to come up to say, what I have been teaching you in the past mm. is not what mm. is in the Bible, mm. but this mm. is it. Mm. You are mm. actually mm. seeing mm. a Jezebel mm. spirit. Mm. That man of God was actually married to a being because he fears his wife or she fears her husband more than God. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. I'm very excited to let you know that by the special grace of God, okay, I put together a material on everything that I know on spiritual marriage. It is all about spiritual marriage. That is my latest book. 
it is not bragging there is no book on earth like this book i am not bragging hmm. on the matter of spiritual marriage nothing has been written what has been particularly done is prayer topics hmm. Hmm. but to go into the matter there is virtually no material apart from looking into the scriptures the bible okay there is no material that exposes the kingdom of darkness okay. on spiritual mm. marriage All right. as this book that means that there's a novel material it's that a you, novel material you must you must get for yourself you must get it for your friends you must get it for your family members your loved ones anyone that you know that is connected to you that is experiencing this plague in any dimension this is a must-have you should place in your order now wherever it is that you are around the various nations of the world you can send in your whatsapp message now make your whatsapp call now call in 024-703-6136 and place your order